Hey everyone, it's Dang Mel, and today I'm coming to you from my home in California. You know I always have to film when I come home in my original where YouTube started stomping grounds. I'm coming to you with no makeup, not gonna apologize for that because I really wanted, I felt inspired to film this video and I was like, okay, let me put makeup on and then I said, I don't want to put makeup on and then I said, oh wait, I don't have to put makeup on because I don't care. But like, I could have brushed my hair, but I also don't care about that either. My dog's coming. This is Duke. He's my one true love and he's my brother and my best friend. Love you. Okay, so today is a very highly requested video on life of a flight attendant, what it's like to be a flight attendant. I'm not going to go into like how to become one. Uh, we could do that in another video if you guys are interested Let me know by liking this video or leaving a comment on like what topic you would like me to do I have been a flight attendant for two years and with everything going on with the airlines and all the drama I thought this was a perfect opportunity to tell you like before you go into it what to expect And I'm not gonna share what airline I work with because if I do that Then that gives them like free access to my social media and they can judge me on like why I have a septum piercing when we're not allowed to have piercings and I'm like okay I just flip it up. I'm gonna do a pros and cons list. I'm obviously gonna start with the cons because I want to end on a positive note because I don't want you to be like okay well dang I am gonna have a really bad day now because she ended so negatively. So I'm gonna start with the cons and just let me know what you think. Disclaimer, I'm definitely a person that likes her job. Like I do like my job because of the pros but there are times when I hate it like every other job, you know? And I have to keep reminding myself that this is like any other job, I'm gonna hate it sometimes. Okay, so the biggest con to being a flight attendant is how freaking homesick and lonely you are. I've been flying for two years and I still have times when I'm on a layover and I'm like, wow, all my friends are having fun right now and I'm here having room service. And I know like a lot of people think that that's very cool to be at a hotel all the time, but it does get old, but I still do like going to hotels, but I hate how expensive the food is. I hate having no motivation to get up and go do something in the city because no one else wants to go with me and I don't want to go by myself because I'm scared. That's something I have to personally work on. You do get very homesick, especially in my case. I got based in New York for the first six months and I'm from California, so... I basically moved to New York for six months because if I wasn't there, I was at my boyfriend Seth's house, which we need to make a video. What video do you guys want me and Seth to make because I need to introduce you guys to him. Just fly to Georgia and, and stay with him and his family. And so then it was just something like, well, I need to move to Georgia because we're long distance and this is not going to work out if we keep being long distance. So I did move and I was so homesick because I got the job in like... December and then the February following like literally two months after I started training so it was just a rush of new 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 like so much newness and I'm still trying to play catch up I always tell people that I'm still trying to play catch up I miss my family I miss my best friend it definitely gets better with time so you do have to stick it out if you do this job but homesick and being lonely are my biggest complaints about this job if you've ever worked a customer service job you know that there are mean people, but I have never met more mean people than on an airplane. I've worked at a grocery store for five years and a restaurant for a year, and I thought being a host was bad. Being a flight attendant, you deal with the meanest, most self-righteous, selfish, entitled people you'll ever come across, and you can't say a thing. Sometimes I roll my eyes, and sometimes I go, <laughs> and I have to remember I'm working, and it's just like, threatening behavior from men because they think they can just say whatever they want to me because I'm just a blonde little girl that is working but I am working for the government and the federal government and I'm in charge and some people don't realize that so it's very very frustrating but the good thing is you'll never see them again if they're a regular at your job like a clothing store or a restaurant or a hair salon or a bar you might see them again but more than likely you're not going to see this mean person again and all you have to say is, wow, I'm really glad I don't have to go home to them. So it's a real joy. Another negative is there's a lot of late nights, like red eyes. I hate working red eyes because I like to sleep. But if you like to be up 
late, then it's perfect for you. And red eyes are literally the easiest part of the job because everyone's asleep and you don't have to do anything. But you have to stay awake and that's very hard. So along with the late nights is you don't really get to eat very properly unless you bring your own food. But bringing your own food means cooling it and make sure, make, ensuring that your food doesn't get gross and make you sick because that has happened to me before. <laughs> but then it's just when you get to your room, you're starving, the room service is closed, eat a banana on the plane and then, or a bag of peanuts and then that's your dinner. I hate that, I like having a good meal. That's another thing with being homesick. Like, there's not a lot of home cooked meals. So that's unfortunate. That's a little thing though. Sometimes you work with really crappy and sucky people that want to suck the life out of you. There's a lot of negativity. There's uh, there was merging in our company. So a lot of people like the way their old job did it. And you just want to be like, well, why don't you quit? And they're like, well, I don't want to do that because I have the best life. It's just really annoying. With me, it's weird because a lot of people have come to me and been uh, very racist about other races but talking to me and I'm like do you just assume I'm a racist because I'm a white blonde girl I don't understand so that's that's very unfortunate that there's that good thing about this job is that you can work with somebody and then you won't work with them for six years maybe you'll maybe see them in a different airline but you know at a restaurant job if you hate someone you're gonna see them all the time but with this job and if you see them on your rotation you can swap off into a different uh Trip. Another unfortunate thing about the job is that you do miss events and holidays. I remember I've never not had a Christmas with my family until my first year of flying and it was so sad because I had a layover in LA. My family lives San Diego area so it was too much of a drive to come down and I didn't have a long enough layover but it was so depressing being in the same state and not being able to be with my family. Fortunately I haven't missed huge events like uh, I've been to both my best friend's weddings uh, bachelorette parties, um, bridal showers, you know, stuff like that. So, um, birthdays, I've missed a few, but you know, you just, you have to make your own event. So me and my family now celebrate Christmas a week or two early. So that way on Christmas, it's still sad, but you at least celebrated and you're all together. So it's just learning about how to adjust and just knowing that I will work holidays for a very long time. One of my biggest pet peeves about the job is that we are only allowed to call out sick twice a year. That's true, people. Don't know how that's legal, but that's the truth. Uh, if you miss work, it's a huge deal. You know, when I worked at a restaurant and I was a host, just a host, mind you, not really dealing with food, they said, if you have a cold, don't even come in because we don't want to spread that. I'm in a freaking metal tube and my work wants me to call in twice a week. Dealing with so many germs, I get sick so much, but I just have to go to work because I don't want to get in trouble. So that's my list of cons. I do have another one, but okay. Okay, so I'm going to go into the pros and then go back to a con really quick because it's just, okay. So one of the pros of the job is the job is relatively extremely easy. I know a lot of people just think flight attendants serve coke and peanuts and that is generally what we do but we are there for your sake. My airline uh, we went through seven weeks of training and six of the seven weeks were about safety related learning how to do CPR learning what to do if someone has a heart attack learning if someone has to deliver a baby what to do one week is for customer service so when people would say I don't get why you're training so hard don't you just serve peanuts Okay, you'll be the first one I don't save. Thank you. If there's a fire, bye leaving your butt in the lab. One of my pros is that it is a relatively easy job. Usually things go smooth. And then that goes back to the con. If something bad happens, it's not fun. And it's actually traumatic. Like I had a friend that a guy died in his arms. Like very traumatic. Nothing like that has happened to me, knock on wood. But I did have a lady who had typhoid fever apparently and we were all gonna be quarantined but then the medics came on and they were like oh she doesn't have it we don't think so who knows I could be having typhoid fever <laughs> obviously my number one pro is the travel benefits you can't beat it um, as as employees we get free domestic travel so that's anywhere in the un United States and then we only pay taxes to go international so I went to South Korea and I only paid $34 round trip. I know, that's insane. I always wanted a job where I could make enough money to go to the places I wanted to go to. 
but I never expected I would have a job that paid me to go to the places I wanted to go to. For example, I went to Iceland and that was number one on my bucket list and I got paid to go to Iceland. Like that's insane to me and I got to bring my mom and she only paid $75 round trip and she got first class both ways. Like the travel benefits really are what keeps flight attendants around because it's insane. The second best pro of the job is the time off. Right now I am on paid vacation. I'm getting paid right now as I make this video for a week. You can work three days like a three-day trip and then be off for five. We have such a flexible schedule. It's never a nine to five job, Monday through Friday. I don't think I could ever have a job like that. Like I, I don't think that's how I work. Just like the time off, it's really easy to re rearrange your schedule. We have a, a board, swap board where you can text flight attendants and be like, oh, I, I saw that you wanted to do this. I'll swap you for this. And they're like, okay, I, I'll swap you for this. It's really easy because there's thousands of flight attendants in your base. It's not like a at a restaurant where there's five hosts and none of them want to take your shift. I said there are bad crews, but there's also awesome crews and awesome people and no one understands a flight attendant like a flight attendant. Totally understand how each other's lives work. You bond so easily with people in the span of three days. It's insane. Like lifelong friendships in three days. I have such good friends from the people I met in training, on the line, that's like a term we use, on the line. Another pro is the pay is really good. I mean, I'm not gonna tell you exactly what I make because I guess that's bad to say, but I make more than $25 an hour, so that's really cool coming from ten fifty an hour, living paycheck to paycheck. I can actually save money now. I don't, but I could if I wanted to. Don't need a college degree. It is preferred, you just need a lot of customer service experience. You can have a career and not even have a college degree because we go to college to get a job to make money. So if you're a flight attendant, you're already making money, so you don't need a college degree. But if you want one, go for it, girl or boy. I guess that's all I had. I definitely recommend it if you're young and you don't really wanna go to college. I guess I would try it. Just really, really think about how much you love your family and how much you would wanna be away from them or your friends. But it is a really rewarding job. I've been to Paris three times, London, Amsterdam, Ireland, Iceland, South Korea, everywhere in the United States. And you just, I think it's so important to know other people's cultures to appreciate where you live. So I definitely love that aspect of it. I do like my job, but sometimes I hate it. Moral of the story. If you guys want any other videos about flight attendant life or whatever, please let me know any other videos and tell me what video you want me and my boyfriend to do. Boyfriend hat, boyfriend does my makeup, girlfriend does my makeup, um, kiss each other for 10 minutes straight. Whatever you want to do, let me know because I want to introduce you guys to Seth. I love you guys. I really do. I say that every time. really do love you guys. I hope you're well. Uh, bye. <laughs> I hate myself.